Hi there. I hope you folks are having a great day. Today I'm going to do a watercolor that's going to be uh, painted for the sake of bookmarks. Um, there was a time, gee, a year or a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, where I done had done a painting and I was really pleased with it and at the end I kind of blew it. So I thought, what, what am I going to do with this? I don't want to throw it out. So then I came up with the idea of cutting it and making bookmarks out of it. I'm sure somebody thought of that way before me, but I didn't know about it. So I was pleased. Today I'm going to intentionally cut this up for bookmarks. And I have pre-drawn it. Now this is, I sort of do houses in kind of in the style of Peter Sheeler. And this is Paul Clark. Uh, this is a uh, representative of Jelly Bean Row in Newfoundland, Canada. So I watched his video. Now I'm not, my version is a little different. My houses are a little different, but same sort of idea. So what I'm going to do is uh, paint this. I'm going to speed up the process of me painting it. And then I will come back and show you how I make my bookmarks. So, just so you know, I'm using Daniel Smith, uh, Winthrop Newton Cotman painting uh, paints, and possibly uh, M. Graham. So, so we'll stop there, and I'll come back when it's uh, time to paint, and you know, I'll zipper my mouth.
So our painting is done. Now I have put on a coat of Mod Podge and I'm going to put on a second coat. This just gives it a little more depth. I use a gloss Mod Podge. I always put uh, two coats in case I miss any spots, sometimes three coats. Just remember the last little bit of the application come in with your uh, foam brush a little more lightly just to uh, even it all out okay we're going to use that again in a little bit for the back of our bookmarks so I'm going to dry that So this is all dry and has a le lovely soft leather feel to it. Ugh, I love that. Um, <laughs> so what I have here is this is um, strips of frozen pizza boxes. You know, frozen pizza that you get in a grocery store and I cut them up and I glue two together to make it so it's stiff but still somewhat pliable which is ideal you don't want it too stiff and you don't want it too pliable so you can uh, figure out as you go along um, how thick you need to make it so now I want to absolutely want the bottom so I'm going to measure from the bottom up. And I'm going to cut this one at a time because although the strips may look like they're uh, all the same, I need to mark that a little better. Um, there is some slight variation, so I'm trying to get it so that it fits properly. Okay, I think I got that. I normally wouldn't cut this way, but it's fading out at the bottom. one so that goes with this one okay this one marked better so I should get about five out of uh, out of this so I'm going to finish cutting these out and then we'll come back and glue them so we just um, I use uh, Aileen's tacky glue it's a little thicker and it bonds quite well 
I just had this straight up, so. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Now I put it close to the edge, not on the edge because it'll seep out. on. Now for the most part this will fit your cardboard because you cut it out you know after you outlined your sheet of cardboard outlined your cardboard but sometimes as happens it uh It doesn't fit quite prop you know exact so I mean not a big deal you just trim it down okay now I find Aileen's tacky glue if you hold it for about you know 15 20 seconds it starts to grab and then you can go along your merry way. Now, you want to uh, put some Mod Podge. I put Mod Podge on the back. I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but I sell mine. So I just take the extra step. This just helps uh, it to be a little bit, a little bit waterproof and dirt proof. And it just looks a little more finished. I'll just dry that. Then we come in and punch our holes. I'll let that dry. Yeah, just come in with the hole punch. I find the, uh, you know, the cheap single ones don't work very well with this because it's they're just not strong enough. Just aim it for the middle. And there you have your hole. Last one. Don't want to get Mod Podge. I think I'll leave that aside. I don't want Mod Podge on my hole punch. So yeah, so it's Mod Podged front and back, or you know, my, um, matte medium or gloss medium, and then you can get these. Uh, on Amazon. I think they come in a pack of 50. Just slip those on. And these, if you're, you know, if you do markets or if you sell on consignment or anything like that, these are uh, sell really well
they're uh, you know they're great little gifts for the music teacher or any school teacher the tutor I think I can punch this now you know the person that delivers your post your mail and or if you're giving a book for a gift adding this is just a nice little touch so there you have it look at that aren't they pretty so sweet There. Or just make them and put them in stockings for gifts or, you know, whatever. They're fun to make. They're easy to make. Now, I just did that the total time and probably including the 15 minutes I took to draw the, the uh, image. And then what? I don't know. 25 minutes to paint it, 25, 30 minutes to paint it, and then finish up another 10 minutes. So, around an hour. And look, you've got five little bookmarks. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, would love a thumbs up, as usual. Uh, I, the channel's growing slowly, but surely. <laughs> so... I'm waiting for my miracle viral video. <laughs> so that's it. If you haven't subscribed, it'd be great if you did that too. And remember, today's a good day to have a good day. Bye for now, folks.